Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Energy Interiors and Designing. So in this video, I am going to discuss the rest of the floor plans of the hotel designs. So in my last video, I have discussed the ground floor plan which was the combination of three floors such as the convention facilities, the hotel services and lastly the service apartment. Also we have discussed some of the back house services such as the kitchen and also the administration area. So next floor plan is a first floor plan which is completely for the guests. So this floor plan consists of the function hall which is also a banquet. Also it consists of the guest rooms and also the service apartment. So the first floor of the convention block consists of the waiting area and also the pre-function area and a big function hall with 3 meters wide service corridor. So the area for the pre-function space is around 130 square meters whereas the area for the convention hall is around 900 square meters. So the entire convention hall is being designed with a separate pantry and a service lift so that we can supply the services of the kitchen from the ground floor. In case of fire emergency, this banquet hall is being designed with the two fire exits. The one fire exit is on the front wall. Whereas, whereas this fire exit is being designed on the back side of the convention center. In the front, the services such as the waiting area, reception, toilet facility, service. So in the front of the convention center, there are the services for the guests such as the waiting area, reception and the guest lift. So the first floor of the hotel block consists of the guest room. So this block is designed in Ellen shape so that we can get the proper natural light and the Ventilation. This floor has the services of guest lounge and the terrace for the guests. So the types of rooms that we have taken in the design are the standard rooms, deluxe suits, executive suits and the presidential suit. So the total number of standard rooms are 154 at the rate 32 square meters which means each standard room is 32 square meters in area. Deluxe suits are 78 at the rate 45 square meters whereas the executive suits are 40 in numbers at the rate 90 square meters and lastly the presidential suit is just 1 in number at the rate 140 square meters. So this is the detailed layout of the standard room which has the separate toilet, a closet and a bedroom. So this is the detailed layout of the executive suit which has the separate living and the bedroom area for the guest. This is the detailed layout of the deluxe suit. It's very similar with the standard room. It's just that balcony has been incorporated in the design. Lastly, this is the detail of the standard twin room layout which has the separate two beds. That is twin beds. So each floor of the hotel block has been designed with the back of the house services such as the linen room, electrical room and also the clean room. The entire hotel block is being designed with the three fire exits in case of fire emergency. So one of the fire exits is being designed on the front of the hotel block, whereas this fire exit is being designed in the between. And lastly, this fire exit has been designed on the end corner of the hotel block. Lastly, on the first floor, this is the block for the service apartment. Now, each floor has the corridor which is used for the circulation and movement. And also, each floor has been designed with the 1 BHK and 2 BHK apartments. So, each floor of the service apartment has been designed with the service core which has the services such as electrical room, PHU, linen room, the service lift, the service duct and also the guest lift and the staircase for the guest. Also in case of fire emergency, two fire exits has been designed on each corner of the service apartments block. So the second floor of the hotel block also consists of the guest rooms and also the back of the house services which was seen on the first floor. It also has the big atrium which is attached with the corridor and also the floor has been designed with the presidential Suit. Whereas the second floor of the service apartments has the same layout as the first floor. The third floor plan and the fourth floor plan are the same as the first and the second floor plan. Also, it has the same back of the house services and also it consists of the guest rooms such as such as deluxe rooms and the standard rooms and also with the service apartments. Now in between the ground floor and the first floor, there is a floor which called as the service floor plan which has all the back of the house services. So in the front, this is the space for the admin area. So this is the space for all the managers who manages in the hotel such as general manager, assistant general manager, banquet, 
food and beverages, residence, visiting, financial and sales management. So this service floor is also been designed for the placement of AHU or the different spaces that we have used in the hotel design. While making a hotel, it is important to provide the separate spaces for AHU such as in the design. This is the AHU for lobby. This is AHU for guest lounge. This is AHU for the waiting area. AHU for bar. AHU for the entire admin area. And this is the AHU for the restaurant. So this is the example that we have to design air handling unit for each and every space that we have given in the design. So the other services that we have designed on the service floor is the banquet kitchen. So this kitchen serves the services to the party hall and also the business center. On the service floor, the business center is also been designed with the boardrooms and the conference rooms. The last floor plan is the basement plan is again very important when we design the hotel layout. The basement floor plan majorly consists of all the back of the house services, especially for the working staff of the hotel. So in the basement plan, this is the service ramp for the loanings and this is the receiving area where we receive all the raw materials for the cooking. So this space has been designed with the security office and the timekeeper so that they can keep on checking on the unloading of all the raw materials which passes through this 2 meters wide corridor for the storage. So the store rooms for the raw materials has been designed on the basement floor over here such as poultry store, seafood store, liquid store, meat store, beer store, soft drink store. So all the store rooms have been designed on the basement floor. The basement floor has also been designed with the butcher shop and the bakery candy shop where head chef's office and assistant chef's office keeps on check on the entire kitchen services. So this is the service ramp which starts from the basement and it goes towards up to the service floor. Also there is a separate cafeteria for the staff which has the separate food service and the food preparation just only for the staff. On the basement floor there is also a locker room with the uniform changing room with the separate locker rooms for the executive staff. Now this section on the basement floor plan is basic placement and the training where it has training office, the procurement office and two classrooms for training. This section on the basement floor is the entire the workshop area which consists of paint shops, carpentry shops, mechanical workshops, AC repairs, TV repairs, then electrical repairs and also the plumbing repairs. So this entire section consists of all the building services such as the AC plant room, electrical LT panels, transformers, HD panels and DG sets. This also consists of the boiler room and the water storage for to supply in all the three blocks that is convention, hotel and the service apartment. So the water softening plant is, has also been installed on the basement so that we can supply the soft water to the guest. So therefore this is a storage for the soft water, this is a storage for the raw water and this is the storage of water that we require in case of fire. Lastly the basement is also been designed with the laundry facilities. So we clean all the dirty linen from all the floors and then we clean it on this section. So the basement is also been designed for the parking. So this is the parking for handicap and this is the parking for all four vehicles whereas this is a parking for two vehicles for apartments and this is a parking for two vehicles for hotel. So this is the detail of the service core which is designed in the middle of the hotel block. So this service core it's been designed with the fire exits and the service lobby plus telecommunication duct for the, duct for the plumbing, electrical and also the refuse chutes. It's been also designed with a pressurized duct the exhaust duct for toilets, exhaust duct for kitchen, the service lift and the service shaft which carry the fire lines, AC chillers, pipelines. So this is the structural detail of the hotel that we have used in the design. So we have used the three types of column. The first column is a rectangular column which has the size of 850 mm by 300 mm. Then this is the circular column which has a dial of 450 mm which we have used in all the lobby areas. And the third column has a size of 600 by 300 mm. This is a typical section of the hotel where it shows the basement area, the ground floor. This is a service floor. And this is the first floor and the rest are all the guest floors. 
So this is the another section which shows you the convention block, the restaurant which is open to sky and the hotel block which consists of the guest rooms. So while designing the hotel, it is important to understand that how we provide the services to the guest because that makes a decision that how we design a hotel. So I hope you like my design. So please don't forget to like my videos and subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.